Today we are talking about Lost Origin and Lost Origin only. We're going to be talking about sealed product and singles. And there's some stuff that you guys are going to probably want to be aware of. Um, like starting with the booster boxes right here. In the last month, we're seeing almost 18% gain on the Lost Origin booster box. And 198 up to in the 230s. In the last three months, it's up 14%. It had a little up and down. And that's so this last month is like right here. Um, we'll zoom out to the one year. 80% gain over the past one year, and we are at a one year high. We passed this high of the 220s, now into the 230s with the Lost Origin booster box here. Um, these are, I hate that they put these in here. These are those like loose packs equal to a booster box. So last real solds are 240, 225, 240, 240. So it almost seems like this card or this box is around $240. Uh, the listed average, the median price right here. 261 so it seems like lost origin is on the uptick um, we'll move to the giratina now we've touched on this card a little while ago um, we would start talking about alt arts and this card is looks like it might be rebounding finally um, eight and eight point seven five percent gain in the past month so on the three month chart you can see it's down it was at 380 and we'll zoom out to the one year you get a better picture so this was the big alt art boom right here in May went up to 476 and then it retraced all the way down to 426 or 326 sorry and now it's up to 365 but look at these last solds 399 396 355 330 and then another 399 so it kind of looks like the giratina might be creeping back up to that $400 range possibly um, which would be a great level to see it at now this if you guys aren't familiar, the alt art boom, uh, this happened for most alt arts um, from the Sword and Shield era. They ran up big right here, uh, and then they retraced back down. Usually when they retrace, they don't hit their old lows. They set new lows, which is this 320 mark, which is you know about 100 bucks more than it was before. And now with the market being what it is, uh, it seems like we're on another bull run with, yeah, the Giratina. Um, this is probably my favorite set from Sword and Shield, personally. Um, not that Evolving Skies isn't awesome, but uh, Lost Origin was just more obtainable uh, dollar-wise, but it's gonna start to get expensive here soon. Uh, we'll take a look at PSA 10 sales as well, because I do think that this is important. 845 and 800 are the last solds on the Giratina in a PSA 10. Uh, now there is, it is important to note that there was a 750 and 700 down here, uh, but I don't know if we're starting to see this is the shift and it's starting to move up. 845 and 800 so interesting there each sale goes up 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 and up uh, for the last four then we have so not every card right not every card is taken off um, from lost origin we have the aerodactyl which is kind of on its way down right now still looks like it may, hasn't found its bottom 7.6 percent down in the past three months and another two percent down in the past month when we zoom out to the one year here it's the same thing you see the alt art boom it, you could have had this as low as 82 and went up to about 140 and it's retraced all the way down to 95 uh although last sold are in the 80s 89 86 89 90 um it looks like this may be the bottom for this card it's finding its bottom right here at the at the 90 dollar range we'll see it's barely higher than what it was over here so this one not as much strength unfortunately and this is a cool card I do like this card a lot. Not maybe the Pokemon, the Aerodactyl just doesn't have the popularity. I don't know, but it is an alt art. It's hard to pull from now a now fairly expensive box. So we'll see how the Aerodactyl does long term. Um, we got a few other cards here. Okay, so this card, this card is not an expensive card, but I did want to touch on this. We made a video on trainer galleries like long long time ago, uh, and I talked about. I said this card was undervalued. It was underrated because it's a Charizard. And I know that these are easy to, easier to pull, but 48% uh, gain in the past three months. This In the three months, you could have had this for 355 and went as high as 620 Interesting there. And then in the past month, it's up another 37%. So seeing some gains uh, on the Charizard. We zoom out to the one year. Looks like we just came off of the one year high. Looks like it's kind of declining again a little bit. Last sold's... 474, 556, 474, 499 um, for the last sold. So it seems like it's 
going back down to around five dollars so declining a little bit still uh but just interesting i just wanted to bring this card up because uh dollar wise not really the gains you want to see but percentage wise 48 percent is nothing to you know you got to take that seriously so um once again i don't think tons of people are holding on to tons of copies and unloading them right now to see those gains but i just wanted to make you guys aware um then we have the Pikachu VMAX. This is from the Trainer Gallery as well. Uh, up 10.6% in the past month. Uh, excuse me, month. Um, on three-month chart, it's actually down a little. So it looks like it might. it's rebounding currently. Um, we'll zoom out to the one year. Uh, same thing. Look, it had its run up here. Its low was 28. It went as high as almost 50. And yeah, so it's bounced off of this $30 mark. And it's come back up to around 35 which... It's a cool card. I could see it valued there. I could see it continuing to run a little bit more. Um, we'll see what happens when these box prices continue to increase. That doesn't necessarily mean a correlation with singles, but sometimes as the box boxes start to get expensive, the singles can increase in value. Uh, it it does depend, but uh, rarity always you know plays a factor. Then we have the other Pikachu. This is just the regular V. Absolutely love this card as well. Uh, Eight percent in the past month. Uh, so, you know, seeing some some rebounds. It was up 14% right here. So it looks like it retraced and it's now it's going to bounce back up, possibly. Last sales at 24, 20, 24, 21, 22. Uh, so might be staying in that range for a little bit. Um, something also to bring up that could be interesting with these cards, um, the V and the V Max, is with uh, Surging Sparks coming out. Keep in mind that if that Pikachu takes off, uh, and it gets too expensive, people are going to go, oh, Pikachu's popular, What's the, what are other cool Pikachu cards? And these are very affordable. So just keep that in mind um, for potential plays. It's not a guarantee, but just something to have in the back of your mind. Um, next up, we have these gold cards. There's two of them from the set, Trainer Gallery as well, the Mew. Um, these are great looking cards in person. It doesn't do it justice, like kind of most cards don't when you see them on here, but 20% gain in the past month um once again those are some pretty good gains and in three months it's still seeing 16 percent um it's kind of fluctuated in this range from six to five dollars it's bounced around uh we'll see if it can crack seven if we zoom out this is not the one year high the one year high was at 750 um last solds we're seeing 672 seven and six dollars and 20 cents so that's the mu but we're going to jump back to pikachu for a second not as good of gains Okay, um, but worth noting, 9.6% up at one point right here in the last month, it was at 484, all the way up to 636. So, and now it's down to like 601. It's, once again, not the biggest gains, but even on the past three months, it's up 8%. Just something to, to note. Definitely not at its one year high. This card kind of really fluctuates. Looks like the 720 range is the previous highs. Um, but last sold, we're seeing 636, 599, 599, 641, and 14 sales at $8. So that's interesting. Um, we'll see where this where this ends up. Not a it's not, once again not a very difficult card to pull, um, but it is a cool card that a lot of people would probably want in their collection. So um, that's the uh, the Pikachu there. Then we have another Pikachu, Lost Origin. If you guys aren't familiar, it's not advertised as a Pikachu set, but it has a lot of Pikachus in it. And this is another card that I absolutely like, the sleeping Pokemon. Personally, I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, so in the last month, it's you can see it's fluctuated, but it is up 18.5%. It went as high as 498, down to 380. Yeah, so these some of these cheaper cards, they really fluctuate a lot. In the past three months, it's up 20%. You can see the same thing up and down, up and down. Uh, the one year I had a big spike back here, went to 574, then ran back up to 550. So we are not at a one year high, but look at these last two sales, 590 and 590 for the, sl the Sleepy Chew. So 590 would be at a one year high. So it looks like this card could be going up, but something to think of is there's a lot of them on TCG Player at 416. So we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't know if this card's really going to run, but just an important uh to talk about some of these gains then we have the gengar we've once again i think we talked about this in one of the trainer gallery videos 
extremely popular Pokemon. Uh, interesting, like, <laughs> what's going on in this card is interesting. We're seeing 20% gain in the past three months. It was at 43% right here uh, at the peak in the last three months. But if we go to the last month, it's only up 5%, but 5% is 5%. Like, that, those are gains. And once again, not an, not an expensive card by any means. 27%. Over the past year, it looks like it's one year high was 585. So Gengar last sold 430, 595, 544. Uh, interesting, interesting there. These these cards, you know, you're not going to see you're not going to see a lot of money from these, but it's kind of it's just kind of nice to know if you have these in your collection that they're going up in value, even if you're not selling them. It's just nice to know, it makes you feel good, right? Um, we got a few more cards here. We got the Giratina, the Rainbow. Um, secret not huge but almost 10 percent up in the past month alone 13.4 percent in the past three months and not at its one year high which was 22 dollars but looks like it might be climbing that way maybe it's on a little bit of an uptick last sold's uh 1570 1698 and 18 for the rainbow giratina and we're gonna touch on a few sealed products here at the end um the etbs which these were uh, cheap for a long time. We'll see that uh, on the chart, but 15% in the past three months and over 12 and a half in the past month alone. Those are some good gains for sealed product. We zoom out to the one year. At one point, these were sub 30. This is what I was talking about, $28, and right here, 32. So you could have had these for 30 or sub 30 for a long time, and they're just starting to get into that $50 range. Which is, uh, those are good gains. I think I picked some of these up with the, like, earlier this year. I think in, like, March, maybe. With the TikTok uh, coupons. The, like, 30% off ones. And I think I got some for, like, I think I might have had a 50% off coupon. But I think I got some for, like, 20 bucks. And just a few of them. But anyways, uh, last holds are actually higher. We're seeing 55, 54, 54, 54. So, the market price should be about 54, which would be another pretty big gain. On the ETB, another over 10% right there. So the the normal ETB finally getting some attention. It was real cheap for real long. I think it was really plentiful. So um, these are starting to get bought up, probably starting to get ripped because they were pretty cheap for a long time. So yeah, that's the uh, the ETB. I also wanted to touch on uh, the Charizard UPC just for a second. I know this is not a Lost Origin exclusive. There's just some packs that are in it, but it, has, it gets labeled as Lost Origin. But anyways, um, it has packs from multiple sets but anyways it came up during the sealed so we're gonna just take a look at it real quick um 18 percent gain it continues to grow in the past three months at, it was 137 three months ago and now it's at 163 uh we'll go back to the one month still solid gains almost seven percent 6.2 in the past month that's pretty good and then the one year's looking real good 64.8 percent it had a big run up right here went to 164 and then it came back down to the 130s and we're not quite back to that price yet might take a little bit longer, maybe. I don't know. But last sale was 152, but all the sales before that were in the 160s, and this one was like 170. So maybe that's an anomaly that 151 and will continue to rise. The listed median price is 188 on this box, so this should continue to run. Uh, this was kind of a no-brainer play for a long time, but they were so readily available. It's kind of like the 151 UPCs. I think people started to sleep on how readily available they were and how many and they just weren't picking them up um, but this is a cool this is definitely a cool box so in summary uh lost origin is looking good there's a lot of cards that are moving there's a lot of sealed product that is moving the giratina is a great chase card that is going up in value it's going up raw it's going up in psa 10. there's some pikachu cards in this set that could see a boost just from surging sparks alone right so um these boxes are really interesting and in, from my perspective um for sword and shield um do i think that lost origin is probably sealed wise my most invested into currently um and i'm if i was i'm not really if this ran up maybe to 300 it, once it cracks into the 300, that's going to be an interesting, a really interesting time. Uh, I think we're still a ways away from that, but that's kind of the next, that's like the next big, big one. I mean, 250 will be pretty big as well, 
uh, $250 box, there's like a, once it hits that, there's like a mental aspect to that of being really interesting. But yeah, 300 I think is going to be the big one. Um, what's going to be the next Sword and Shield box uh, to hit 300? I kind of think it's between Fusion and Lost Origin. I think Lost Origin has the edge, personally. Uh, but I could hear the argument for both. So that is uh, Lost Origin. That's pretty much the summary. Um, it's exciting to see it start to move again. It was kind of went in the lull for a while. It had that that restock or whatever. Um, but anyways, I think that's it for this one, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, Lost Origin. Um, I I think it's still for boxes. Um, if if you're still looking at picking up some for investment wise obviously there i think that there's much room to run on these boxes um but if i was like looking to get into it now i would be a little more hesitant and i'd be looking at picking up probably more scarlet and violet era stuff in the 100 hundred dollar bracket i think that probably has more chance if you're talking about like i always like to look at it in doubling um i think like if you can get surging sparks uh, I mean, those are up now, but if you could get them for 120, I think that has a much better chance to go to 240 before Lost Origin goes to uh, 400 plus. But that would be, I mean, booster boxes do that. So, and we don't know the market is like crazy hot right now. So uh, we don't know how quickly things can move. It could happen fast um, for Lost Origin. Uh, we don't know, uh, but if the market gets latched onto it, big things can happen. Um, so yeah, that anyways, that's it. That's my Lost Origin ramble. I love Lost Origin, uh, and that's it. But I'll, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.